Let's talk about the hearing today to set the trial date in the mom to Kafla case. All right, so um, as you know, if you've been following along, we did try to get a trial date last week, but the prosecution and defense could not agree, so it got pushed to this week. And uh, surprise, surprise, they still couldn't agree, and it ended up screwing the prosecution. So here's the thing. Um, first, before they got to the trial date, the, uh, the Brady material from Friday's hearing the prosecution wanted to know that they did hand it over, and this is what they handed over to the defense. They handed over the text message exchange between Naresh and one of the officers uh, who came for the welfare check uh, from August 4th. They handed over two videos um, from July 27th at the hospital. One video shows Monta in the unknown black sedan, um, and one shows the car driving away. I think the implication there is that they'd be able to see the license plate. Uh, they also handed over five photos of Mamta outside of the hospital. They also handed over the body cam from officers Santino and Johnson from the August 2nd welfare check. And they, along with that, they gave an 18 page transcript from the body cam videos. So that was how the hearing opened. Sorry, the sun was blinding me, so I had to move. So the next 15 minutes was just the prosecution and defense basically squabbling over dates. You know, they all have other trials happening, um, you know, including homicides and things of that nature. And although this is a very high profile case, it is just a class six felony. So it doesn't necessarily get priority over other cases. But after all the back and forth, we did get a shocker because I was expecting the trial to be set for late January, early February, because that seemed to be about what they were ready to agree on at the last hearing on court dates. But we ended up with December 9th. So the trial for this charge is going to start on December 9th. That's when the jury selection is going to start. The trial dates are going to be December 9th, 10th, 11th, and then it will resume December 16th, 17th, and 18th. So there will also be a pretrial hearing on November 20th. Mr. Sweet, the um, Commonwealth's attorney, was very upset by this, and he told the judge that this date was not convenient nor fair to the Commonwealth. Um, basically, I mean, I get what he's saying. This gives them only about three months to prepare for trial, which is not a lot of time, considering that it sounds like they're going to have a lot of tests, evidence, data, you know, GPS, et cetera, et cetera. So they're going to have experts come in. Um, so yeah, there's, it's going to be a fairly complicated trial for a class six felony. We know they have the Tesla data. We know they have the phone data, the CCTV from the stores the CCTV from the neighbors, they have financials. So, you know, I think that if anything, they could still be waiting on the DNA results, but I wouldn't be surprised if the prosecution already has that as well. Um, basically, you know, having the body would make the case basically a slam dunk, but I do still think that they have a good chance of getting a conviction even without it. So I'm not personally terribly worried about that. Of course, we just want her to be found as quickly as possible because she needs to be found and given a proper burial. Um, but yeah, so, so that's kind of where we are right now. Um, I think there will probably be some more hearings, motions, uh, prior to the pretrial November 20th, but that's kind of what was scheduled right now. So again, um, the trial for concealing a dead body is going to start on December 9th. That's pretty much all that happened. It was a red, it was a relatively short hearing today. If you have any other questions about what any of this means, let me know and, and I can make a, another video to talk about it. Also, the full live that I did today after court is going to be uploaded to YouTube.